Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is multiply by two digit numbers. This is lesson uh, 1 7 in our textbook. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathblog.com. So there's our common core strand. And our question here is how do we multiply by a two digit number? So we have a couple of examples here. Here's the first one. The average American shower lasts a little over eight minutes and uses 18 gallons of water. Suppose you shower every day for 28 days. How many gallons of water would you use? Well, a whole bunch, probably. So, um, uh, so we're going to use place value and regrouping. Well, let's first estimate uh, 28 times 18. Well, 28 is close to 30, and 18 is close to 20. So 3 times uh, uh, 2 is 6, and so we're going to add a couple of zeros there because there's a 0 and there's a 0, so it's the 6 with those two zeros right there. So it's going to be a number close to 600. Now since 30 is bigger than 28 and 20 is bigger than 18, 600 is going to be bigger than our number that we get here. So it's going to be a number that's less than 600. I know that there. So, All right, so now let's multiply the ones here. So we're going to multiply 28 times 18. We're going to multiply the whole 28 times the one, the eight ones right here. So 28 times uh, eight ones, I did that over here. Okay, so um, uh, 8 times 8 is, um, is 64, so I carry the 6 right here, and then, um, uh, and then I do uh, 8 times 2 is 16, then I add the regrouped 10s right here, so 16 plus, plus that 6 gives us this 224 right there, so I kind of jumped the gun right there, so it equals 224 ones right there, okay, remember doing that from the last lesson? Okay, so let me slide that up, and all right, now let's uh, multiply the tens now. Okay, so now we're going to multiply this 28 times this 110. So 28 times 110 is going to give us 28 tens, or 280 ones. Remember, 28 tens is 28 times 10 ones, so that's where the zero comes from. So we're going to multiply uh, 200, or put down uh, 280 right there for the 28 tens or the 280 ones right there but we do need that zero there to so it lines up with this one right here this four right here okay so we got that part done now so now we're going to add the partial products and what are those partial products these are the partial products we got this number from multiplying the 28 times the eight ones and we got this number from multiplying the 28 times the 10 ones right there so now we're going to add these partial products let's slide that up right there Okay, so when we add those together, 4 plus 0, okay, and then 10 or 2 plus uh, 8 is 10, so we're going to carry the 1 right here, so, so this 1 goes in the 100 spot, so 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5, so we get 504 right there. So is this answer reasonable? Well, yeah, because we, it's close to our estimate. We knew it was going to be less than 600, so it's, it's reasonably close. So I think it's a reasonable answer right there. So let's answer the question here. So the average American uh, shower, the average American shower uses about, uh, that's kind of awkward wording right there, uses about five, a little over 500 gallons of water in 28 days. It's a lot of water, isn't it? 504 gallons, okay? Remember, uh, to use patterns of zero to find products of multiples of 10. So let's, get, let's quickly do an example. 3 times 4, that's basic. Everybody knows that's equal to 12. So 3 times 40 is going to be a 12 with this one zero. So 12 with a zero is 120. 3 times 400 is going to be 12 with two zeros. So here's my 12 with two zeros, so 1,200. 30 times 40 is still 12 with this 0 and this 0, so it's still a 12 with two zeros or 1,200. 300 times 40, multiply 3 and 4 is 12, and then add on 1, 2, 3 zeros, so it's 12,000 right there, okay? So let's go ahead and multiply 126 times 52, okay? Let's estimate, okay? 126, I guess we'll round that to 100 right there, and 52 will round to to 50. So 5 times 1 is 5 with those three zeros. So it should be around 5,000. Now, since this is uh, less than 126, you know, kind, kind of a lot. And since this is less than 52, this number is going to be less than the real answer right there. So it might be a lot less. We'll see here. So let's multiply the ones right there, but at least it gives us a general idea. It's going to be, our, our answer is going to be greater than 5,000. Okay, let's multiply the ones. So 126 uh, times two ones right there. Okay, so if we go ahead and multiply, we get 252. So 2 times 6 is 12. So 12 ones, we carry the regroup the 10 right there, the 110, and then we do 2 times 2 is uh, 4, plus this uh, additional 10 is 5. 
and then uh, 2 times 1 is 2 right there, okay? So we get 252 when we multiply 126 times 2. All right, let's multiply now uh, the 126 times these 5 tens right here. So 126 times 5 tens is going to get us over here. We did uh, 5 times 6 is 31, so there's the 30 right there. And then this 3 is for the carried over 3 tens from the 30 right there. Okay, so then uh, 5 times 2 is 10, and then we add these 3 right here, so that's going to give us 13. Then we carry the, the 100 from the 13 tens right there. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so this is 630 tens. So how many 1s is 630 tens? Well, it's 663 with an additional 0 right there, so 6,300 ones. So that's what goes right underneath here. We need to line up the ones right there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add those partial products right there, okay? So now we're going to add these numbers. So we're going to add uh, 2 plus 0, 5 plus 0, 2 plus 3, and then uh, 6 doesn't have anything to carry, so we get 6,552, okay? So, 1, so 126 times 52 is 6,552. All right, so here's our estimate of 5,000 right there. Were there different kind of numbers we could have used in this step right here uh, to find an estimate that's closer to the actual number? Because this is, you know, 1,552 off of 5,000 right here. So let me slide that up right there. If we, we could have used, instead of 126 rounded to 100, we could have rounded it to 130. And then 130 times 50, 13 times 5 is 65, and then add that 0 and that 0. That gets us 6,500, uh, and that's a lot closer to our answer up there of 6,552. All right, when we multiplied the 125 by 5, by the 5 tens in step 3, we multiplied right here. The, I'm sorry, this should say 126 right there. Sorry, you guys, that should say 126. I was wondering what I was doing. Let me change that real quick. 126. Okay, so when we multiplied that by uh, the 5 tens right there, uh, uh, why did the product have a zero in the ones place? Because it gave us 630 right there. So if it gave us uh, the 630, how come it became 600 or 6300 or 6300? Well, that's because uh, uh, the 125 times 5 tens gives us 630 tens, you guys. So 630 tens is 630 times 10 one. So this this additional uh, zero right here added this additional zero. So that's where the, the zero became in the ones place. That gave us this zero right there in the ones place. Okay? All right, you guys. I hope that made sense. I hope you're having a great year and your teacher is doing a great job. Take care.